Hello and welcome to WePC. My name is Jay and in this video I'm going to show you how to enable smart access memory on an Aorus X570 Master motherboard. Now AMD themselves recommend the following four motherboards as they already have the BIOS update required. That is the Asus X50 Crosshair 8 Hero Wi-Fi, the ASRock X570 Tai Chi, the Gigabyte Aorus X570 Master and the MSI X570 Godlike. Now please advise before starting the Aorus motherboard has CSM enabled in the BIOS by default you will have to disable it in the boot section of your BIOS. AMD themselves have claimed the following. If Windows is installed while CSM is enabled, it will be configured as non-UEFI and will not boot if resizable BOS port is enabled. However, when our benchmarker Jack tested it, he didn't actually notice a difference. Um, Windows still booted fine, but it may have conflicting results depending on different hardware and different users. If an issue booting Windows does present itself, either re-enable CSM or reinstall Windows with CSM enabled. With all the precautions out of the way, Let's get right into how to enable smart access memory. Enter your motherboard BIOS by pressing the delete key. This is specific to our motherboard. For Aorus X570 master users, navigate to the boot tab in the advanced settings of your BIOS and disable CSM. Navigate to the settings tab and locate the IO port submenu and enter it. Inside, find the following options, above 4G decoding and resize bar support. Enable both of these settings. Please note, most motherboard manufacturers have slightly different BIOS layouts. Most of the time CSM will be under the boot tab, but sometimes above 4G decoding and resize bar support may be located inside a PCIe submenu. Please refer to your motherboard manual if you are unsure where to locate these options. Now hit save changes and reset under the exit tab and smart access memory should now be enabled. Thank you so much for watching. We do hope that it helped you at all. If you would like this video remade for your specific motherboard, then please do leave it in the comment section down below and we'll definitely get on that for you. If you enjoyed the video and if it did help you, we would love if you could leave a like on the video, subscribe if you are new to the channel, hit the notification button so you never miss an upload. And if you click over here, this will take you to another one of our fantastic YouTube videos for you to go and watch because we know that you will enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.